In this video, I'm going to add support for rest assured and JUnit 5 to my project. And uh, I will begin with rest assured. I will go to the browser window. And in the browser window, I will open rest assured rest dash assured.io. I will look for get started page and I will scroll down a little bit. Here we have news, release notes, and here we have documentation. In the documentation section, we have get started. I'll go there. And under get started, we will have some dependencies that we will need to add to our pomxml file. So for the rest assured, we will need to include JSON path and XML path. I will add dependency for rest assured first. So I'll copy this and then I'll go back to my project and open pomxml file. And I'm doing this in mobile app dash WS rest assured test. This is my project that I'm going to use to write test cases to test my API, which is here, mobile app WS. So I'll open pomxml, switch to XML view, and I'll do it at the bottom here. So these are the dependencies that I currently have. So under the Spring Boot starter test, I will add the rest assured just before closing dependencies XML tag. So I'll paste it here, and then I'll go back and copy the one for JSON path. We will need JSON path so that we can work with uh, JSON documents. Our web service will reply back to our API calls with a JSON payload. And we will need JSON path to be able to parse JSON documents and then get specific elements from the JSON document. So I'll copy the JSON path and I will add it here. Okay, let me save my work. We can remove version so that it's managed by Spring Boot remove this one and remove this one. Okay. And what else? XML path. I'm not going to use XML path. Let's take JSON schema validation. I'll copy this one. And I will paste it as well here. Okay. Now uh, let me save my work and most likely I'll have to remove the version as well. Okay. And let's format my source code. Okay, let's have a look if we need to add anything else. I'm not going to use Spring Mock MVC. I'm not going to use uh, Scala. So that's fine. Okay, so we have added support for JSON path. And now I'm going to add support for JUnit 5. When I was building RESTful web services, I started using JUnit 5. So I'd like to continue with JUnit 5. But unfortunately, JUnit 5 and REST Assured are not very compatible. So I'll have to do a little uh, advanced configuration. But if you choose to create these cases with JUnit 4, then you don't really have to do it. it. It's all much simpler. Okay, so to be able to use JUnit 5 with REST Assured, uh, let's first add JUnit 5 support to our pomxml. And to do that, I will go to browser window and then I will open Maven uh, repository and I will search for JUnit 5 or Jupyter dependencies. So it's a JUnit. And then I will look for Jupyter engine. Here we go. So I'll take JUnit Jupyter engine. I'll click on this link and then let me take a version 5.2. I'll copy this one and I'll go back to my project and I will add it here. Let me save this. Most likely version I'll have to remove as well. Okay, let's remove it. And another dependency that we need to add is the GUnit platform a launcher. So let's go back and search for GUnit platform launcher, this one. I'll hit enter. And this is GUnit platform launcher. I will copy this one and select version 1.2. Copy the XML, go back to my project and paste it right after the Jupyter engine right here. So let me save this. Let me format my code. So now we have added support for JUnit. 
and um, I have mentioned that there is a little incompatibility. If we leave it as is, then our code will not work because of Hamcrest libraries, which are not compatible with each other. So what I will need to do, I will need to exclude Hamcrest libraries from Spring Boot so that we can use JUnit 5 together with rest assured. Okay, and to do that, I will scroll up and under Spring Boot Starter, I will exclude Hamcrest. And to do that, right under the artifact ID, I will paste a little XML snippet. Let me format my code. Okay, so you may pause the video and type it in. So we're using exclusions to exclude group ID org Hamcrest and then artifact ID Hamcrest core. Let me save my XML. And this is it, we're almost done. Now we should be able to create GUnit 5 test cases and we should be able to run it using our Spring Tool Suite development environment. But there is one more thing I would like to add and this is for the uh, building process for the plugins. I will add, I would like to add the Maven uh, Surefire plugin so that we can build and run our GUnit 5 uh, unit tests using the command line and Maven commands like Maven install so that our project is built and all unit tests are run, or we can use Maven to run a single selected unit test. So inside of the plugins sections, right under the plugin, the Spring Boot Maven plugin, I will add one more plugin and I will paste the code snippet. Let me format my code and you can pause the video and type it in or you can take this uh, source from the project sources that I make available to you. So this is the snippet that I have added. It's a Maven Surefire plugin and it includes two dependencies, the JUnit platform Surefire pl provider and the JUnit Jupyter engine. And now I can save my code and I should be able to create JUnit tests using development environment and write rest assured code inside of my JUnit 5 and I should be able to run my test using development environment and I should be able to run my test using the terminal window command line and maven commands. So let me remove this space, save it and let's continue.